it is Mrs. Neal here, and I am thrilled to introduce the newest member of our team, Ms. Whitman. Hello, Falcons. Ms. Whitman was not able to join us in last week's grade level assemblies, but she is a member of the team working with Ms. Deb and Mr. Buck to ensure we have a safe, positive school culture. So if you see her in the hallways, if you see her in your classrooms, if you have any questions, she's a great person to contact. Um, many days she will be in the cafeteria. Um, she also, if you do for any reason need to spend time in ISS, Ms. Whitman will be the person that you will spend time with there. Don't want to see you there. No, you do not need to go there. We want you to make positive choices, um, but we are thrilled to have Ms. Whitman on our team. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, and please join me in welcoming Ms. Whitman and say hello when you see her in the hallway. Hello, Falcons. It is my pleasure to begin our announcements by sharing our PATH Award winners for our faculty and staff. This week, our awards go to the following individuals. The P for Perseverance will go to Ms. Sandusky. Ms. Sandusky has had an amazing start to the school year. Um, she has had the opportunity all summer to update plans and make sure that this is going to be a fabulous year for her students. So everyone in Ms. Sandusky's class, I know you know what I'm talking about. It's been an amazing start to the year. Congratulations to Ms. Sandusky. All right, and the A goes to three very special teachers, the team of Ms. Dull, Ms. Gummerson, and Ms. Starr. All three teachers are new to the Quail Hollow team and have really done an amazing job getting everything set up for a fabulous school year. We're thrilled to have you as Falcons this year. Welcome. The T for thoughtfulness goes to Coach Pierce. Coach Pierce organized all of our physicals this year for our students as athletic director, and she has organized so many different components for a strong start to the middle school sports year. Coach Pierce, we know that this has taken a lot of organization, and we really appreciate your thoughtfulness for all of our students. Thank you for all that you do. And the last but certainly not least, our H for health goes to Ms. Mobley. Ms. Mobley has truly been de demonstrating what it means to live a healthy lifestyle. You are a role model for all of us, Ms. Mobley. Congratulations and thank you. All right, Falcons, now for a few important reminders. First, I want to remind you that for afternoon announcements, we are no longer calling names or providing information over the intercom to ensure that all students, faculty, and staff members can receive the information. We will continue using the afternoon bulletin system. This means faculty and staff that the information is posted on the Google document that you then can and should display in your classroom when we begin afternoon announcements. At 4.15, the announcement will be made to remind you to open the afternoon bulletin to get all of the information. This information contains crucial updates for students who may have alternate forms of transportation than they usually use, for information that needs to be picked up in the front office, etc. So please make sure that you display the afternoon bulletin on a daily basis. In addition, we have updated procedures this year. Two of those procedures I want to highlight today. The first is forgotten items. Students, we expect a high level of responsibility from you because it is our job to prepare you for success in high school. And so we want you to begin to demonstrate that responsibility now. If you forget an item at home that you need at school, for example, if you forgot your lunch, or if you forgot a project, or if you forgot um, something that you need for an after-school sports practice or club, it is okay for your parent or guardian to bring that item to school to drop off for you in the front office. However, we will not interrupt your class and instruction for you to get that item. The item will be left in the front office and the front office team will record your name on the list that is displayed in the cafeteria. 
So if you have an item that was dropped off by your parent in the morning, when you go to lunch, you can see your name on the list, you can show your teacher, and then you will be able at lunchtime to go to pick up the item from the front office. If the item is dropped off after lunch, then your name will be listed on the afternoon bulletin and again you can pick up the information at dismissal, um, but please understand we will not interrupt instruction for you to pick up any items that are dropped off throughout the day. Also, early dismissal. If you have an early dismissal, same rule, rule applies. It is our job to make sure that your instructional time is protected so you can get an excellent education. So we will not call into your classrooms and interrupt instruction to get you for an early dismissal. You need to plan ahead with your family. When you arrive in the morning, the day of your early dismissal, go to the front office and deliver your note from your parent or guardian that lists when you will be picked up for early dismissal. In the morning, during morning arrival, you'll turn the note into the front office and they will give you a pass for the time of your early dismissal. When you save your pass, you hold that with you throughout the day and then whenever it is time for your early dismissal, you will present the pass to your teacher and you will report to the front office where you can meet your parent or guardian to be checked out from school. So please make sure that you remember um, to review those policies with your parents so there are no surprises. They are listed on our school website for your reference as well. Um, students, speaking of policies, I want to thank you for your compliance with our dress code. We are continuing to follow up and do dress code checks and make sure that we are consistent in reinforcing those policies. Overall, most students have been consistently in compliance, so thank you very much. We want to be able to focus on all the fun stuff, um, making sure that everyone is already in dress code. Um, students, a reminder that we do not have school on Monday. We have Labor Day on Monday, and so there is no school. Um, and eighth grade students, an important reminder that next Wednesday, September 9th, there is an eighth grade parent meeting. If you are interested in the end of year eighth grade field trip to Disney World, there's an important parent meeting that I encourage you and your parents to attend. I hope that you're all having a wonderful week. I trust that you have put forth your very best effort on the MAP assessment as those results um, will be shared with your parents and they will guide your teachers in differentiating instruction to make sure that you get exactly what you need to be successful in school. So Falcons, have a great rest of the week and I will see you in announcements again next week.